we heard, we heard that the FAA was shut down all day. And then yeah. I, I read up a little bit on it um, for a few minutes earlier, and it just was like, yeah, it was like a damaged file in uh, somewhere in a database or whatever. Yeah, like, weren't all that's flights all the, grounded? But it's just funny how that, like that's that's well, your we'll explanation. We'll never get the explanation because <laughs> yeah. like something in my gut just with something like that just goes like, no. yeah, this doesn't no. usually happen. And, yeah, and like, also if that's the uh, the the you know fragility of your system. That one corrupt file in your fucking system yeah. grounds all the planes for half a day in the whole country. You know, I it's, uh, it's one of those things tough. where it's like you don't know, really know anything about it. But <laughs> like something, something about it, you just kind of yeah. sometimes know when someone's lying. Something you know, and smells like, a little off. Yeah, something was weird about that, and I, who the fuck knows? Not now, I. I'm thinking they probably that like they had to like move a UFO or some shit or whatever. Yeah, and they probably like, had to just yeah, or like Epstein was finally being moved. Yeah, he was. he's like, I gotta go. I can't stand this. Epstein fucking wanted to go uh, anymore. Epstein wanted to go hang gliding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> he, like, he needed to get well, out was, of uh, Martha's Vineyard. This was in the contract that we the like Illuminati contract yeah. we made with him. He gets to go hang gliding once a yeah, year. Once a year, we have to figure out yeah. how to Richard Branson how came to keep picked him up in a fucking Cessna. <laughs> yeah, and, and John just, McAfee, and, and they're just, and just fucking around. yeah, just yeah. fucking airport hopped for the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all planes grounded for the first time since 9-11 so strange i know that's what i thought too when yeah, I, I wasn't like even it, aware of it seems like it should take like a major catastrophe for that I'm to a happen busy like, man. yeah no i know i don't have time to yeah really we don't fucking, have that sort of time um, we're filtering through stories and trying to bring you guys the most pertinent and up-to-date news and also we've um, been having issues with our cheap chinese mustaches yeah we really um, have gotten a fucking bad batch these things yeah bad batch of stash um, and it's not but no, it seems it 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 is one of those things that definitely <laughs> they're lying, right? It just has to it be can't like be there can't that. be the whole story. Like yeah, well, look, my guess would be, and this is obvious, just a guess, but like something like Russia or China, you know, interfered with something, and then they had to fucking <sighs> scramble something. And yeah, but what do you, you know what I mean? But they're like, oh, oh, nah, we just uh, went that's off flying for a minute. That's the creepy part about it is like. If the one of the only one of the only like conceivable reasons to do that would be some kind of insane military threat, threat. Yeah. like where like it's we're like, in a proxy yeah. war with Russia right now. <laughs> People you're seem right. to have already forgotten. You this. see what I'm getting at? It's like, yeah, we're, yeah. we're in a possible nuclear war, <laughs> it, isn't it? Dude, the world is so fucking hilarious <laughs> right now. Everyone we can't forgot. even keep that in our heads for like, like two ah, days at a time. Whatever. Who, There's so just I got a who's fucking, a misogynist? Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Uh, there's I people. Guess that's what's now. There's people making fun of people on YouTube. I gotta. I gotta do that. <laughs> yeah. You know. And like, no. It, it, it is hilarious that like this at one time when when I think there was less stimulation and less information and less everything. This would have been an enormous like focus. It would be the biggest everywhere you this went. Would have that's been what all of the people news. would talk yes. about. It would and have been it, the water know. cooler. It would have been Walter Cronkite. It would have been fucking. They'd be telling fourteen year olds, "Hey, you better eat your fucking Wheaties. You're going to go to war soon." <laughs> yeah. You know, like yeah. Now Andrea brings up if their system is that delicate, they definitely shouldn't tell everyone. Well, that that's yeah. what I that's what I mean is well. Yeah, it, like, it kind of mm. doesn't make sense from a lot of angles. Now, Mike Ewell says a few hours after the same system crashed in Canada. Oh, that sounds like a coincidence then. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's... Yeah, that's obvious. Well, then then we were being paranoid, obviously. What, that's, well, that's the biggest... Uh, it's a coincidence. <laughs> That's the biggest coincidence since 9-11, uh, <laughs> because since we mentioned yeah. that earlier, you know, yeah. to like something that's never happened. I don't want to, you know, whatever, yeah. get everyone all riled up out there. But, but, no, but like, two, yeah, two, but two buildings were hit by planes and just collapsed on their were, own. That were uh, structurally engineered to withstand plane hits. And, and it's never happened it was the ever before that. that. The biggest <laughs> insurance policy in the world was taking out, taken out on those buildings for yeah. plane what crashes. What a crazy coincidence. <laughs> those are all... You know what I mean? And then... Yeah. Yeah. You know, the uh, branch of the Pentagon that was holding the records to, that might have shed light on the fucking trillions of dollars that had been lost on its way to Iraq was also hit by a plane that had no wreckage. I mean, this is coincidences. Yeah. All, this is why I believe everything. All orchestrated says. and pulled off by like a Stone Age fucking monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, oh, yeah. But on, I'm, you know, they're like fucking baboons, you know, right. uh, whatever. Um, Get us you, I'm talking about flag. specifically that, you know, sect of afghani society mm -hmm. that's what i am i am no i know, you know? i mean they're, well they're cutting people
people's heads off. It's like, what do you want? You know? Yeah. No, um, I, look, I'm not a fan of the the, the Taliban or uh, or ISIS or what were th- what was that one? What? What was Bin Laden's? That was that hasn't even been around. Al Qaeda. Al Qaeda. Yeah. Al Qaeda. Yeah. You see, it's 1984. You change the enemy. You just keep the war going. That's yeah. It. You yeah. know. And how many times do we see it go back? Fund the next. Well, ones. we're gonna fucking work with ISIS now because they're yeah because they'll get rid of Al Qaeda and then it's like ISIS is a threat. It's, it's like, the oh, old. Shit, it's man. the old thing of like yeah. It's the fucking three card Monty. Well, or the thing where it's like okay, you got a mouse. All right, you get a cat. Now you <laughs> yeah, get rid of the yeah, mouse. Yeah. Now oh, you get a dog problems. to get rid yeah. of the cat. Well, now we got dog problems. Now you got. Go gotta get a you go up to Badger anaconda. eventually. Yeah. An anaconda will take that dog out, no problem. Right. Yeah. No. And now I, you got an anaconda in your house. And, and eventually, yeah, you like your house is full of water. You got fucking great white sharks in here. <laughs> yes. It's just nothing <laughs> nothing adds up anymore. You know? uh, um, the passports are the coincidence that really kills me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The passports from nine eleven. Oh well no, I mean, why does that not make sense? I don't understand. Like, um oh wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire b- <laughs> the building was lava. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah, fucking yeah. But lava there. You know what withstands <laughs> lava? Like, Passports. Yeah, I know. Obviously, that's oh my what, god. That's what you find in rubble that you can't find steel in. <laughs> it is crazy how they can make you even question. It's like you start. But wa- this is funny. It's it's. I know what you're gonna say. Yeah. It's yeah. The funny part to me though is that to this day people will call you a conspiracy theorist if you have questions about this. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah. None of this was ever answered. I know. Well, some of it, I mean, I, there's things that were debunked at one point and, or another or whatever the fuck. But you know what I mean? It's like, it, I think there was a time where that whole movement ran away with itself. And oh, sure. Everybody just believed everything. The truth You know what movement. I mean? Right. Yeah. And it was just like, well, if it's counter to but the- But again, um, if, to, there's, if no smoking gun is ever even looked at by the establishment, that is where it sows the seeds for more and more. And more. it's just rife. The whole terrain is just rife yeah. for more and more outlandish shit to be fucking sown because- But then something like this happens with the FAA. Yeah. And they go- uh, their statement was like, there is no evidence of any type of like cyber or terrorist attack. Of course. And not. it's like, well, okay, that's, that's it. That's what we got. That's, <laughs> that's what we got for you. Just fucking shut up. And you're like, okay. Yeah, right, I mean, what else? Go back you, to just, TikTok. Go back to talking about nine 11. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> <laughs> we did it right in front of all of you and you don't care. Yeah. Um, nobody. We still have the fucking vast majority of people demonizing anyone that questions the narrative. So that's good. And that shows us that uh, everyone's thinking clearly. Well, that's um, a weird one. I, I feel like at some point um, they politicized conspiracy theory. You oh, know? And we talked about that before, yeah, yeah, but yeah, absolutely. it's like uh, it was a CIA fucking side. I think at one point. It was like it grew to, you know, to a certain um, whatever uh, level where of like, you know, there was a good I, there was a good percentage of people that really did not buy the mainstream yeah, narrative. At least and it, now it has sure. become like a trendy thing of like, like you were saying before, like team allegiance. Oh, Lisa Rodolfi's um, in here. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> that's a, what well, a, so what's what up, a rare Eric? treat. Yeah. Um, what's up, Eric Paddock? But um, Connie. But no, it gets so it got to like a, a critical mass or whatever, and then it became like a trendy thing of like, you know, of team allegiance to be like, oh, you're a you're one of them, you yeah. know, and oh, it's yeah. like, well, then you're a four chain, fucking yeah, yeah. whatever you're a white racist kind of thing fucking, or something. Yeah, you're a, it's a really you're, neat yeah. trick they pulled it off. It is a very <laughs> it, look. I'm, and I'm not even fucking the, angry. I'm impressed. Remember when we honest. were like, profiling like how the CIA operates and how it was called out and how it's been shown. And then how one of the programs that they had was pro, uh, Operation Mockingbird, where they tapped certain journalists and uh, and uh, what are the anchormen and whatnot. And they, they started proliferating stories through the media. And we've all seen these reels where it's just fucking... You know, the, the the exact same sentences being said by fucking like, it'll you know, they, uh, they always do those where it'll be like one person saying it, then two people, then, fi- you know, and then the whole fucking screen is, you know, 80 people saying the exact same thing. And it's like, Tom, since we're on the topic of coincidences, yes, yes exactly. I, I do think it's <laughs> odd how, how that, yeah. you know, sometimes 75 different news anchors will yeah, say we'll, the exact same. We'll push the story over yeah. and over that conspiracy <laughs> theories are so some sort of batshit crazy, uh, you know, lunacy, and that's and yeah, that's, that's how that propagates, and that's how you get that's anything. How you that's get how you get Hitler. the term. That's how you get a term that is able to just be slapped on somebody, and then anything they've said is just marginalized and looked at as fucking insanity. And it's yeah. like, okay, if that's what you want, I once, that's what we get. I once heard what 
that the term American was originally used in a derogatory sense. That by who? By who you else? Fucking tell me. The fucking the colonists. The, well, oh. no, I mean, let's see. The uh, the other colonists. Uh, Britain, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Britain. You the know. loyalists. Uh, Britannica. Yeah, the loyalists. As it were. Yeah. The Tories. Right. And uh, so I, you know, I heard I heard that. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think of that? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, um, but this, uh, this is going to bring us into, so I was, 